As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows across the sleepy town of Ravenswood, Sarah, a young journalist, arrived in search of a story that had captured her curiosity. She had heard rumors of strange occurrences and unexplained disappearances in this isolated town nestled deep in the woods. Armed with her notepad and pen, she ventured into the heart of Ravenswood, determined to uncover the truth. As Sarah walked through the town, she couldn't shake off the eerie feeling that something was amiss. The streets were deserted, and the houses seemed abandoned. The air was thick with an unnerving silence, broken only by the distant hoot of an owl. Sarah's journalistic instincts kicked in, and she began to ask around about the town's history. She met an elderly woman named Agnes, who had lived in Ravenswood all her life. Agnes recounted stories of how the town had once been a vibrant community, bustling with life, until a series of mysterious events changed everything. People started vanishing without a trace, leaving behind empty houses and unanswered questions. Some claimed that the town was cursed, while others blamed it on supernatural occurrences. Intrigued, Sarah decided to investigate further. She delved into the town's archives and uncovered old newspaper clippings that spoke of bizarre phenomena, including sightings of ghostly figures and inexplicable disappearances that had remained unsolved for decades. Determined to uncover the truth, Sarah set out to explore Ravenswood's surrounding woods, which were rumored to hold the key to the town's mysteries. As Sarah ventured deeper into the dense forest, she felt a palpable shift in the atmosphere. The trees seemed to close in around her and the air grew colder. She heard whispers that seemed to be carried on the wind, but whenever she turned to look, there was no one there. Sarah stumbled upon an abandoned cabin hidden deep in the woods. Its walls were covered in strange markings, and the air inside was heavy with a sense of foreboding. She sensed that she was being watched, and her heart raced with fear. As Sarah made her way back to town, she realized that the once familiar path had changed. The forest seemed to have shifted, and the landmarks she had relied on were nowhere to be found. Panic rose within her as she realized she was lost. Sarah tried to retrace her steps, but the forest seemed to close in around her, trapping her in its labyrinthine trails. The whispers grew louder, and she felt a constant presence lurking in the shadows. Her fear intensified as she realized that she was not alone. Just as Sarah was on the verge of despair, she stumbled upon an old, dilapidated house in the heart of the woods. Desperate for shelter, she cautiously entered only to find herself in a dimly lit room filled with eerie artifacts and symbols. Before she could react, she was confronted by a mysterious figure cloaked in darkness. The figure revealed himself to be the last surviving resident of Ravenswood, who had been trying to solve the town's mysteries for years. He explained that Ravenswood was not just a normal town, but a place caught between worlds, where reality and the supernatural intertwined. The disappearances were a result of a curse that had befallen the town, and those who ventured too deep into the forest became trapped in its otherworldly dimension. Sarah listened in awe as the man explained that the cabin she had discovered was the epicenter of the curse, and the strange markings were a portal to another realm. He revealed that he had been trying to find a way to break the curse and free the town from its malevolent grip. With the man's guidance, Sarah braved the forest once again this time with a newfound determination to break the curse and save Ravenswood. They followed the clues and markings, navigating the treacherous paths and facing eerie challenges along the way. As they reached the cabin, Sarah's heart pounded in her chest. She could feel the otherworldly energy pulsating from the symbols on the walls. With the man's guidance, they performed a series of ancient rituals, chanting incantations, and making offerings to appease the supernatural forces. Suddenly, the cabin shook, and the symbols on the walls glowed with an otherworldly light. Sarah and the man braced themselves as the ground beneath them cracked open, revealing a dark abyss. They knew they had to go in, to confront the source of the curse and break it once and for all. They descended into the darkness, navigating through a surreal, nightmarish realm where reality seemed to twist and warp. They encountered terrifying creatures and faced their deepest fears, but they pressed on with unwavering determination. Finally, they reached the heart of the curse, a malevolent entity that had been feeding on the fear and negative energy of the town for centuries.
Sarah and the man fought bravely, using their wits and resourcefulness to outsmart the entity's tricks and traps. With a final burst of courage, Sarah confronted the entity head-on, facing her own fears and doubts. She realized that the entity thrived on fear, and by overcoming her own, she could weaken its power. With a burst of blinding light, she banished the entity from Ravenswood, breaking the curse that had plagued the town for generations. As Sarah and the man made their way back to the surface, they found themselves in the familiar woods of Ravenswood. But everything had changed. The town had come back to life, with people emerging from their homes, and the once ominous atmosphere lifted. Sarah was hailed as a hero, and her story of breaking the curse of Ravenswood spread far and wide. In the aftermath, Sarah reflected on the mysteries she had uncovered and the supernatural forces she had encountered. She realized that some secrets were meant to remain hidden and that not all mysteries could be explained by logic and reason. Ravenswood had taught her that sometimes the truth was stranger than fiction and that some stories were best left untold. As she bid farewell to Ravenswood, Sarah knew that she would carry the memories of her otherworldly adventure with her forever. The town had changed her, and she had learned to respect the power of the unknown. And as she left, she couldn't shake off the feeling that the woods were whispering their secrets, beckoning to those who dared to venture too deep, promising new mysteries and uncharted realms for those who dared to explore. And so, the tale of the disappearing town became a legend in Ravenswood a cautionary tale of the perils of delving too deep into the unknown, and a reminder that some mysteries are best left untouched. As for Sarah, she continued her career as a journalist, but she would forever carry with her the memories of the strange and haunting town that had changed her life forever. The End